Gunns was founded in 1875 by brothers John and Thomas Gunn and is one of Australia's oldest companies. The first substantial project was the construction of St Andrew's Church in Evandale. In 1894, a Melbourne newspaper wrote, The name Gunn is to the front of Launceston as that of a family of old and prominent citizens. By their works ye shall know them. They build not for today, but for generations. Over 1,000 buildings, many iconic and built by Gunns, now shape the streets of Launceston. It was due to the material needs for construction that Gunns entered the timber producing industry in the 1890s. The first sawmill was erected near the Tamar River at Henty's Wharf, which was later reclaimed and turned into a park for the people of Launceston, now known as Royal Park. The business continued to grow and new premises were built to house the expanding building and hardware businesses. A walk down Brisbane Street would be considered rural without their buildings in place. It was this expansion that saw them build the iconic Launceston Post Office. A small range of other buildings built by guns include CH Smith Marine, Princess Theatre, Strathlin, Wind TV Buildings, Southern Cross Television Buildings, The Examiner Building, F&W Stewart Store, The Hearts Building in Charles and York Streets, The Duck Reach Power Station, The Flower Mill in Cameron Street, Launceston Town Hall, the majority of St Vincent's Hospital, the RACT offices, Motel Malden, Village Cinemas, Centennial Hotel, Queen Victoria Museum, the Tasmanian Gold Mine at Beaconsfield, Holy Trinity Church, Hollyman House, Hatton and Laws Building, the Launceston Library and Civic Square, Taz Alkaloids, Esk Brewery and the Gun Standard Aurora Stadium, even building trams for our local network. And the buildings which are now Irish Murphy's, Hotel New York, Jailhouse Grill, Laundry in Little White, Three Steps on George and Neil Buckby's. In addition to all of these buildings, they also built the prominent landmark which is home to the Launceston Chamber of Commerce. The Guns Mitre 10 chain was also known as the local hardware store for most northern Tasmanians in recent decades. The company was handed through the generations until 1986 when the Gunn family sold its interests and Guns Limited was the name of the publicly listed company. This would allow them to grow more capital for further expansion, building on the loyalty of its capable workforce. The plantation estate grew in the past decade from 90,000 hectares to 200,000 hectares. Guns also managed 45,000 hectares purely for conservation reserves. That's the equivalent of 21,000 football stadiums in conservation. Gun Somerset Nursery celebrated its 100 millionth seedling in its first 10 years, meaning they produced almost five seedlings for every man, woman and child in Australia. Over the past decade alone, Guns has contributed over $5 million in sponsorships to the community, including charity groups, sporting groups, educational and community service groups, as well as developing partnerships to enhance the environment and social well-being. Guns recognise the contribution that not-for-profit organisations make in building strong communities. The Launceston Chamber of Commerce thank them for their encouragement of these activities through sponsoring our awards. It is through this support that guns have built many futures in Tasmania.